hello and welcome to another DVD update and today I'm going to start and finish my V's I don't have too many so I'm going to go through the whole lot we're going to start off with probably everybody's first choice when you hear the letter V V for Vendetta one of the best graphic novel adaptations anyone saw it was shocking and it had everything you need and created an icon a faceless icon at that. Next up is a guilty pleasure of mine, Van Helsing. This film got a lot of criticism when it came out, but it's Stephen Summers and I love the nonsense of Stephen Summers action movies. We have Hugh Jackman, action star. We have Kate Beckinsale, sexy as hell, and all the rest. We have Frankenstein, Dracula, and the monsters, they have werewolves, vampires, brides of vampires, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It's amazing the kind of idea in the film. It may be a cheesy action film, but it's fun. One of my favourite comedies, Van Wilder. Van Wilder gave Ryan Reynolds his first breakout chance in Hollywood. And he's the party liaison. He's brilliant in this role. So calm, charismatic. And even Tara Reid gives a good performance in this one. Brilliant comedy. Has to be seen. Next up is one I kind of ended up picking up the wrong film. It's the Vatican Exorcisms. I was looking for the Vatican tapes. Meant to be a much better horror movie. This was a documentary or a documentary found footage film where some guy goes to Italy to explore exorcisms and uh, I don't know it was the same as what you see every single film in this genre why found footage should be cut back unless you could do it right next up is the beginning of the downfall of M. Night Shalalaman the Village and The Village is a film I actually saw at the cinema and got scared by the audience screaming at trailers the movie itself is easy to understand it's clever to an extent where it tries to just throw the twist in for no good reason and the best jump scene again you can see happening a mile away but it's still try that one it's really interesting idea of a film and did spin off to make a very creative mockumentary called The Buried Secret of M. Night Shah you know his name very comical version of what he could be thinking in his mind search that one up on the internet because I don't think it ever got properly released uh, John Carpenter time now The Village of the Damned The Village of the Damned has Christopher Lee no, Christopher Reeves. That's the one, the Superhand bloke. And I have to say this was kind of disappointing, this film. The idea is the whole village, so women get infected or impregnated by an alien like that. And all the children come to life the same day and start their own little cult. And, well, yeah, kill the children. Doesn't do it for me. And... I believe it's not as scary as the original, which shocked people. And the final one of this collection is one of my favourite genres of when I grew up. It's the disaster movie. It's the Tommy Lee Jones Volcano. The volcano pretty much summed up what was happening in the late 90s. Let's find a natural disaster and exploit it to somewhere new. Volcanoes in LA and it is good if you like the genre if you don't like the genre you won't like this film simple as that anyway that completes the v's surprisingly or not what other films beginning with v should i add to my collection and remember to like the video like us on facebook follow us on twitter and visit the site if you want to have any written reviews and thank you for watching and I have been Darren and I hope to see you next time for W.